fifth millennium, where killing had become a way of life. The conflict had raged so long, I guess I'd forgotten how it started. All I knew was this. On one side, the League of Free Worlds. On the other, the Colonial Navy. The result? Total war. Back then, we were told that the final battle was beginning, the defining moment of the struggle to be free. It wasn't the truth. It wasn't a lie either. It was just plain wrong. And I should know. Me? The name is Valdemar, and my story begins here in the Magenta system. A system built from darkness, governed by high ambition and low morals. A dangerous mix. Back then, I'd been down too long. Down on my luck. Down beneath the surface of this damn moon, cutting dionite from unforgiving seams. Down so deep, it felt like hell. Which explains why, when work was over, I prayed my dreams would be good dreams. That night, my prayer went unanswered. The dream began with a crazy man's idea of a guided tour of the system. First up, the Magenta Star. And then, above the homeworld, you see her? The mother of all starships, preparing for her maiden voyage? And check this out. Pirates can be bad for your health. See what I mean? Coming up, our final destination. Right back where we started. Someone, some thing maybe, was coming for me. Whatever had happened here, nothing had survived. And I mean nothing. Valdemar. God almighty. You flatter me, Valdemar. Who are you? That would be telling. Take a long, hard look around you at things to come. The final battle between the Navy and the League is imminent, but it will not decide the fate of the human race. Just like you, my friend, the Red Sun is not what she seems. Awake and live, Valdemar, or sleep forever. From that moment on, every breath would feel like it could be my last. I was awake. Wide awake. I quit my job. It was time to go to work. We put down on Aurora to see the aftermath for ourselves. Now I knew why the outcome of the war between the Navy and the League could never decide our future. The aliens that controlled the Red Sun wanted to take out the entire human race. Nothing more, nothing less. Valdemar, look! The Shahar. In your soul, all that is dark. Why should I let you live? Because the reward you receive will be beyond your wildest dreams. Is the wrong answer. Think of that as a consolation prize. Ancient legend tells how the forces of darkness aim to cast their shadow over the universe. Maybe 
the legend is kind of true. Maybe the planet killing Shahar have been around for longer than recorded time. And maybe this was the offensive they had dreamt of, the moment when the light of each and every human life is extinguished. We picked up the Red Sun's trail, but why I wasn't sure. She just claimed billions of lives. Two more wouldn't tax her. Citizens of the League of Free Worlds, I am speaking to you from the battleship Indestructible. The decisive battle has begun. Colonial Navy forces have breached a number of exclusion zones and launched unprovoked attacks against our positions. Total retaliation is our only option. This is our finest hour. I pledge that victory will be ours. The carnage had begun. The slaughter of innocents unaware that a greater evil was plotting our destruction. We switched to auto, slept like the dead. It was as if we were putting in some practice for the real thing. So I guess it was no surprise when my friendly ghost put an appearance. Valdemar, we now understand the Red Sun's mission. She intends to harness the power of the warp hole to achieve a final mutation. The Vortex will spread biomechanical fragments to every part of the universe, each the embryo of a killer starship. She must be stopped. She must be obliterated before she reaches the warp hole. Deja vu. The only way to the Red Sun is through the kill zone. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. You coming or what? <laughs> yeah, let's boldly go where no insane people have gone before. I was alone. Maybe I was about to die. Part of me didn't care. There she was, closing in on the warp hole, preparing to lay a shroud over every world and every living thing. I tried to pray, for Diva, for all the others who were dying out there, for all the innocents on the worlds that might succumb to the planet killer. I tried, but the words wouldn't come. I wasn't sure anyone would hear. Oh, I was alone, so alone. Will you stop doing that? I am beginning to doubt your courage, Valdemar. You're not the only one. I'll repeat the question. Who are you? Rank General. Name Immaterial. Like the rest of you. Think of me as your commanding officer. I'm no soldier. You are now. But how- You mean this? Tachyon Engram, Valdemar. Faster than light, undetectable, and capable of neuroempathic interface. Which means what? I can be right there. I need your help, Valdemar. Do I have a choice? No. What a surprise. Forces of the League of Free Worlds have clashed with elements of the Colonial Navy Fifth Fleet. A Valdemar, day, what? You should see this. ...prior to launching an all-out assault. Meanwhile, back to our top story, the mother of all goodness, the Emperor Darja, she who rules the magenta system with the boundless beauty of her mind and body, has revealed the purpose of the Red Sun. The mighty starship will demonstrate the omnipotence of our beloved Empress, bringing peace to the galaxy and power to the people of magenta. Take pride, citizens. Our time has almost come. Or may be running out. Go in search of the truth, Valdemar. Hey, wait, I have another question. You're on your own now. And the question was, why me? My mind was in a terminal spin. There I was, some kind of deep cover agent who'd been triggered by a guy who could infiltrate my dreams and show me a possible future. Me, Valdemar, who kept himself to himself and got through the days one at a time. And then some phantom turns up and says, Hey, Valdemar, do me a favor, save the universe. 
And I say, yeah, sure. When do I start? I headed back to the Imperial capital. Needed time. Time to come up with some kind of plan. Whoa! Why, you crazy son of a... Hey, why don't you just get some corneal implants, you moron? Hey, you. There's something I want to say to you. Which is what? My, my name is... My name is... Valdemar. I know. A and you? Call me Diva. League Intelligence. Don't ask me why, but I'm here to help. I name this ship Red Sun. God bless all who sail in her. Oh, God has nothing to do with it. How do you know? I don't, but look at her. She gives me the creeps. But if she isn't what she seems, then what? Isn't that what you're supposed to find out? Yeah, I guess so, but I'm kind of new at this spying game. Oh, you don't say. It was weird. There was stuff in my head I just shouldn't know. Stuff about how to stay alive when death seemed the only option. It was as if the General's tacky and engram had opened up a million secret files in my mind. Every, every synapse, every neuron were striking sparks so bright, they hurt. We lost the Red Sun, so we headed for Marjorie's kitchen, figuring we'd refuel and try to pick up the trail. Tension between the forces of the League of Free Worlds and the Colonial Navy has intensified. Unconfirmed reports say that more than 60 League ships of all classes have been destroyed, with the loss of more than a thousand lives. The Colonial Navy has claimed that all its... It's beginning. The, the final Navy. battle. At least we we're well out of it. And we League ships? What the hell are they doing? But there are no League well. ships in this sector. So, gotta be Navy ships flying League colors. They're going to take this place out and point the finger at the League. I'd bet my life on it. You may have to. That night, I reckon I'd sleep like a baby. I was wrong. Are you insane? What's the problem? You open that airlock and we're dead. It's a dream, Valdemar. A dream. Take it easy. Follow me. Valdemar. Valdemar, wake up. Thanks for nothing. He was screaming like a baby. I was flying. Flying with the big guy, he was gonna show me something, something, something big. You need help. The Tacky and Engram re-established connection. Deep space spy sats indicate the Red Sun is on course for the Interworld system. You still have a chance to intercept her, but only if you can make it through this. It was a kind of space only a crazy man would enter. I was alive, but I was alone. Diva, do you hear me? Talk to me. No response. Well, I figured she was dead. I felt like I was losing my mind. Diva, do you copy? Diva, do you read? Hey, Valdemar. Why the long face? Did you miss me? I'm touched. <laughs> picked up the Red Sun as she approached the Interworld system. We went in for a closer look. Two vessels have infringed our perimeter. Their status? Civilian. Launch a death squadron. Use them as target drones. By your command. Unisoft. The multi-world corporation controlled by Bill Kane. The Red Sun docked there. I didn't know why. Kane's methods mix corporate greed with organized crime, and he murdered the competition as easily as he played the markets. 
But even he was out of his league with that behemoth of a starship. Look, Valdemar, she's... she's different. Yeah. She's changing. Growing. It's as, as if she's alive. Diva transferred so we could come up with a plan. But we drew a blank the size of a gas giant. I figured maybe I could sleep and maybe dream, and the general would show up and explain how I could make a play and a voice shuffling off from my mortal coil. Time for bed. Dream on, buddy. Maybe. We knew less than Zilch. We needed information. Turned out Diva had a little surprise for me. Ugh. What is that? It's a League nanospy. Cool. The nanospy took off for Xanadu, the home of Bill Kane. Hey, listen, pal. You're a good-looking guy. You got an honest face. But it don't sound like much of a deal to me. It is not a deal, Mr. Kane. It is an ultimatum. We are hungry. Very hungry. And we have no desire to waste time. We require access to your security codes in order to seal the station. As we feed, you will be permitted to leave. Listen carefully, Mr. Kane. Respect my wish. Or die. Hey, kiss my ass! Decrypt the codes. Quickly. Human beings, so stubborn, so weak. The aliens move fast. They sealed the station, and once they tasted blood, their feeding frenzy intensified. It was a slaughterhouse. There was nothing we could do. But then, when they'd eaten their fill, the red sun departed and we followed. Nothing made much sense. Had the Empress made some kind of deal with the aliens? She got red sun technology okay, but what was in it for them? <laughs> it just didn't stack up. So maybe, unlike Kane, she'd chosen to stay in one piece by cooperating. But all I knew for certain was this. That weird ship had a purpose, which spelled nightmare in block letters. We trailed the Red Sun to Aurora, an oasis of world in a barren sector of the galaxy. The seven billion people who lived there called it paradise. Not anymore. Voldemort, distress frequencies, listen up. It's an inferno. She was the ultimate weapon, a doomsday device with the power to claim every single life on an entire world, leaving behind the shell of a civilization which an invading force could occupy in the blink of an eye. Right now, though, Aurora was deserted, silent, though if I listened real hard, I could still hear the screams of the dying. Why, Valdemar? Sounds crazy, I know, but I think they were just testing her. It was over. I'd failed. My mission had barely begun, and I'd blown it. I'd been granted a vision of things to come, terrible things, and I was supposed to be the chosen one who could keep the nightmare at bay. Well, I guess they chose wrong. As the human race fought itself, a secret alien advance was underway. Their minds were as brilliant as their hearts were cold. By taking advantage of our divisions, they could execute their plan without interference. Especially now. I was finished. They were just beginning. The Red Sun, she was on her way. I can only guess at her purpose, but I feared the worst. 
There was something about her, something not right, which made me think she was like the devil incarnate, with evil on her mind. And me? <laughs> well, I was out of the game. There was nothing I could do to stop her. A bad dream flickered somewhere behind my eyes. I saw innocent worlds hanging bright in the void where faces looked up to the sky as a shadow fell across the land. There would be time to feel terror, but no time to say goodbye to loved ones. Without hesitation or warning, the slaughter would begin. The alien victory was complete. The Red Sun entered the war pool. Her murderous technology spread to every part of the galaxy. It wouldn't be long before she claimed my life, too. The war was over. The Red Sun was history. Guns were silent and the sound of hope filled the air. Peace had broken out. Would it last? I doubted. The League and the Navy were destined to fight for the future so long as there was space and time in which to kill and die. And even though the Red Sun was no more, it seemed a good bet that the Shaha would return. And what of the General? Was he human or alien? And were he and his kind really our allies? I had to hope so, but I learned to trust no one. For the moment, though, I tried not to care. Why? Because I was a hero. Mm -hmm.